Hello, today I'm in Canada. I'm in Newfoundland and the city of St. John's. And that's my form of transport into town. St. John's is the capital of Newfoundland and Labrador province and has a population of around 214,000. A lovely town of painted houses and shops, its people are very friendly, although today's weather isn't so welcoming. Its name has been attributed to the nativity of John the Baptist when John Cabot, or some say Cabot, was believed to have sailed into the harbour in 1497 into a Basque fishing town with the same name. Appearing on maps as early as 1519, it's one of the oldest European settlements in North America. It was officially incorporated as a city in 1888. It's Canada's 20th largest metropolitan area. It's well worth a visit to Government House, where you can sign the visitor's book. Previous visitors to the house have planted trees. Colonial building was the home of the Newfoundland government and the House of Assembly from January the 28th, 1850 to July the 28th, 1959. Bannerman Park has recently completed a five-year revitalization program. It's very popular in winter with skaters. This is the Basilica of St. John the Baptist. The Anglican Cathedral of St John the Baptist was extensively damaged in the Great Fire of 1892, which destroyed much of the city. Cabot Tower is situated on Signal Hill, 
Construction of the tower began in 1898 to commemorate the 400th anniversary of John Cabot's discovery of Newfoundland. In 1901, Marconi received the first transatlantic wireless message at a position near the tower. The entrance to St John's Harbour is very narrow and in wartime chains were stretched across to prevent unwanted visitors. And that was a glimpse of St John's in Newfoundland. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.